Voice of Africa Radio 94 FM www.voiceofafricaradio.com Mene maybe Mene soa Nama so Mene won kai woche o sanje foto takwa mi kruma ni mene ji e afijron e ye afi o ha ke eten mene o ke mo 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 chida o ke ha e akeblan revivalist movement akeblan revivalist movement e won ye e won ye na e sister kai Wagadaga, ke woche, comrade, badali da mandaka, ke me fe ni eba ye bua wo ye biye ne won tanye shin ge sele ge aya bakeke pi keke nyako ago na abu keke ke swe kafie a pe a taloe a pe pe chinga ke libi ke jack chikiye huele nuele baba o keke t the less and t the less. Ke Caribbean take away, ye let ye, I'm a jack chicken, a ye pun cockake. Ye shon ye ni. Yo, we give thanks to all those who have sponsored today's gathering here at Voice of Africa Radio as we celebrate and mark the birthday of the greatest son of Africa. I say what? The greatest son of Africa. Or should I say one of the greatest? No way, you are lying. The greatest son of Africa, Osaji Fodor Takwami Kuma, today we celebrate his legacy, his achievement, and the fire that he lit some years ago, the fire is still burning. And we, the younger generation, want to continue the momentum, the fire, to spread across this world. We are here in Great Britain and telling the world that, yes, we have a man who was given to Africa, his name, is Osajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The name Osajifo means victorious. He was a freedom fighter. He fought not only in Ghana, but he fought across the continent of Africa. He trained many guerrillas. He was not a military commander. He never went to the army, not even a scout, let alone cadet. But he was a guerrilla fighter. We give thanks to his mother, his father, and the entire family that gave birth to such a man. And we are happy to be associated with his vision. Well, enough has been said here. Sister Kaye Wagadaga and Brother Mbadaka and the entire Kiblon family have been doing some wonderful work here with the team, the experts who have been coming in and going. So I believe that if it comes to intellectual gymnastics, you've seen it all here at Voice of Africa Radio. You heard it all. But there are more coming. And at this juncture, I would like to thank Squares Cafe. And should I talk about Squares Cafe first? Squares Cafe Jolof is causing trouble in the building right now. <laughs> Squares Cafe, thank you so much. I don't know where we would have been without you. Anytime we call upon you, even at the last minute, you will never you know, wink your eyes or shake your throat or shake your head. Squares Cafe, Buki, we say, hmm, if there's food to write about, then of course, Squares Cafe food will always go into our history books right here. Jack Chicken, in fact, I've not tried the Squares Cafe very much, but I've been trying and eating the Jack Chicken and the, is it the donut, the brown donut? Fried dumpling. Fried dumpling. Fried dumpling. <laughs> wow. It's so delicious. Then the bread, no, I know the bread, but this was a special bread. Hado. Uh, uh, what's it called? Hado bread. Hado bread. bread. Wow, it, it, it's, very, it's very nice. But apart from all, listen, everything, the jack chicken is too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> it is too much for me. The jack chicken is too much for me. <laughs> you know, if I, I, one time I was you know, eating the, the, the stew. Yeah. Instead of the chicken. Instead of the chicken. <laughs> Oh, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. <laughs> so I uh, thank you so much, T. Delis. Is it Delis, yeah? Yes, T. T. Delis, Caribbean Takeaway. It's, they are in Latin. In fact, we have to give you the address in Latin. Anytime you're organizing a party, you don't have to be a Caribbean, Jamaican, to, uh, to order such a, uh, a food. Your guests will really love it, and they will bite their fingers, and if not, their toes. I'm telling you. <laughs> so check it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, today we're celebrating Nkrumah and we are very delighted. We are so honored, as I said, to be associated with such a man. 
to be associated with his vision, ideals, and ideology. And in fact, once somebody said it here, that we know that even if we give you all the monies in this world, you will never stop talking about Nkrumah. And this person was a Dankwa Buzia activist. I was so happy and delighted that he said it. That even when you are giving all the monies in this world, you will never stop talking about Nkrumah. It shows and it tells us that this person has come to realize that this radio station is for Nkrumah and it's about Nkrumah because Nkrumah has taught us to be strong and powerful. And the fire that he lit some 55 years ago is still burning right here and not even in uh, Africa but in Europe. Because he has said a lot about us who live in Britain. We must lead the struggle. So at this juncture, I would like to welcome a very distinguished sister who is a Pan-Africanist, who loves a people, who wants to change it, who wants to see change in a community, who wants to see change among Africans across the world. And I would like to emphasize when we say Africans, we're not talking about only those whose parents are from Africa or who come from Africa. But we're talking about all Caribbeans who are equally, if not more Africans than we who were born or are born on the continent. That's what we want to emphasize here because that is what Nkrumah wanted. That's what Nkrumah fought for. I want to in invite Mami Oforiwa Ose Bunsu, a member of the Pan African Community Society a would-be member of AAPRP, or African People's Revolution Party, which is also associated with Kwame Nkrumah. He's an activist and researcher to tell us more about a love for this great man that we celebrate. Why are we still making noise about Nkrumah after so many years ago? What are we seeing that others have not seen? And that making us to keep on making the noise that we are making. Mami Oforiwa, you are welcome to this special celebratory occasion. Welcome. Greetings, family. Thank you. Greetings, brothers and sisters. And I'd like to say by, I'd like to start by saying that we love Nkrumah. We love him. We're here to honor him. Remember him continue his work. He was a great man, a great leader, a champion. He was a legend. And he taught us that one of the most important things that we need to do as Africans is to unite as a people. Unite because we are unique people. It doesn't matter. In his own words, as he said, it doesn't matter where you're born, whether on the continent or in the diaspora, you're African. And as Africans, I want to take this opportunity to, to remember and say this to everybody, that we must unite, not on religious territory. We must come together as a people, because we are a people. Right. We are people. We must leave behind all the years of divisions that white supremacy has created. We must come together and take our land back from white supremacy. He left so many great things behind, one of the things that he achieved when he was alive was, for example, um, you look at the um, Akosomo Dam, one of the greatest things in that part of Africa called Ghana. Since his death, if you look at what's been happening on that continent and on the land where he was born in Ghana, nothing really good has come out of it. So we need to go back and look at what he wanted us to do as a people. A great man, a great legend. He taught us the Pan-Africanism is not just based on a concept, not just by unity. We also need to look at the issues of class, socialism. He believed in that. And it's very crucial because at this moment in time, as Africans, we're not just fighting white supremacy. We have a few Africans amongst us, the so-called bourgeoisie, working with the whites. 
to carry on white supremacy and the new colonialism all over Africa. We have to defeat these people. We can only do it by unity, by intelligence, by reading, by coming together, forging groups. I want this very moment in time to say to every African out there, you must join Pan-African groups. You must join any Pan-African group, wherever you are. It's very important that we come together as a people. Having said that, at this moment in time, how can we come together as a unified people if we are not looking at the achievements of Nkrumah, if we are not studying his ideologies, it's very important. For example, within the studio here, we have another great leader, Brother Bandanka of Akebulan. This is a great man following the footsteps of Dr. Nkrumah. These organizations that you can join as Africans, come and support our Kibulan. Come and learn, take back your history, take back your culture. You cannot sit back and do nothing. Time is not on our hands because as I speak now, every single day, white supremacy is planning our downfall and they're not stopping. And they're not joking. They're not joking. We need to recognize that there's a war being waged against us. And if we don't come together and unify, our enemies will continue their war on us. By defeating white supremacy, we can take back our land. We can come together as a people. And we can not only come together as a people, the, the most important thing as Africans is to unite, is to unite and liberate ourselves. Our total liberation is the most important thing as Africans. We need to liberate ourselves from poverty, from a European Eurocentric education system, religious systems that's been imposed on Africans, other people's religious systems, which has nothing to do with us, imposed upon us. We need to see each other as Africans and not divisions, not Jamaican, Nigerian, Congolese, Ghanaian. All these are the white man's labels. We all we need to focus on is the fact that we have one aim, we have a land, we are one people, we're a very unique people. We have a great skin. We're united, not just by skin colour. We're united. Look at the hair that we have. Woolly hair, beautiful hair. This unites us. We need to see ourselves as brothers and sisters. And not just by saying it. We need to literally practice it. And the most important thing we can do to liberate ourselves and liberate our minds as Africans Go back to our history books, reclaim our culture, take back our destiny, be righteous, always be righteous. The great man, Osajifo, we celebrate you, we honour you, we love you always. Africans, wake up. So get ready, we'll come back again. Okay. But I'm not she was talking about the air. She was talking about the, you know, the yeah, hair. hair. So challenge it. Challenge it. Yeah, but she said you're called Africa one. So challenge it. That's my serious. Not a challenge it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you anyways. I have African hair space. Yeah. Oh, oh, you yeah. know, you have your pockets. Hair somewhere. All right, Can you hear me? I am in the studio at the moment, so I'll be. I'll see you soon. Okay.
Yeah, I'm just talking. I'm just having a break. So, no, read the text message. See if you can try and read us. No, practice right, them, please. I'll see you soon. I won't be long, okay? Yes. Yeah, I haven't finished my program. When I finish this, I'll, I'll get I'll make my way. All right? I won't be late. I'll see you later. All right, dude. I won't be long, okay? I'm so busy. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for calling. Bye. I didn't realize. I tell you, it's hard for me because I'm quite dyslexic. So, you know, to be able to... Um, yeah, for being like that it takes a lot out of me. I have to think. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm not going to do it. You have to be active. You have to be active. Yes. How do you pronounce that name? Sorry, baby. Come on, 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 baby. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, lead candle light. Which one? Thank you for taking that away. So I thought I knew it was somebody. I knew after. No, this one. No, 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 no. This one. No, no, no. This one. Okay, let me talk to you. Let, let, just a little bit before you read the text. Yeah, we can just start. Yeah, we're going to start. of the United States of Africa. So the moment Gaddafi launched with the help of 53 African nations, the African Union, Europe came up with something called the OEA. 